morning, this is Bruce and welcome back to my shop again on this um, beautiful Saturday morning. Um, I'm uh, now in the last stages of machining the, um, uh, what, what we called yesterday, um, the green mantle clock. And um, so I finished on the one side there. I'll bring this down. Uh, we'll get the camera a little bit closer in. We'll bring it down here. Lock it up. And uh, just slide that back a fraction. Okay. So, what we did yesterday, um, we put the inserts in on that side using, by drilling. Uh, picking up each point and drilling it and then using our, um, our little uh, threading um, device here to tap the, um, tap the thread holes in and then insert it, fit it in the inserts with, the, um, with this, this screw um, and we did all that one side and then after, after that we counterboard the, the two holes here, uh, drilled out the hole with a hole saw, and then uh, with the um, um, with the boring head, I bored it out to the correct diameter, uh, which needs to be which needs to be 110 millimeters, and uh, this is the uh, this is the unit I used to set up when I originally took the the, the photos. So that, that fits in there neatly. That's what we want. We want a, an exact fit. Uh, so now I'm going to um, carry on. I've drilled all these holes on this side. I, I flipped the plate around so that it was easier for reading rather than trying to work backwards. So I flipped the plate around and set it up so that I, was, uh, I, I could start the whole thing. I've counterboard, I've drilled all these. Now I need to tap and, and insert them marked out the outside periphery by using this little uh, uh, little chuck. And, um, so this one's the centre of the hole. And we just, with it by hand, just push it down and uh, use that for centering. So we've done with that. That can come out now. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to take, change the chuck over and we're going to um, to bore that hole first with the hole saw and after that we'll um, we'll put the head on and we'll counter bore it. We'll, we'll do the uh, external boring. So the, um, the boring to size I should say. I don't know what's going on with me this morning. All over the show. Okay so that's out. That can come out. We're going to use this uh, one, 100 mil cup drill, and we've taken the the, um, the lead drill out because we're, we're we're not. It's not like it's handheld. It's going to be connected in there with the in the chuck, so uh, there should be no no problems with getting that centered. bit loose but it doesn't matter I need 110 mil and this is 100 mil um, we'll just put that on the slow gear fire her up bring her down to see that she looks okay give her a bit more a few more revs some of that fluffy stuff it cuts very nicely no issues there
through. Okay, that's part of the job's done. Anybody need a green washer? Now, pull that out. into contact with that because we're going to end up here with a bit deeper than that. Right, so we'll finish with a chuck. Chuck out. And in with the boring head. Right. We'll just give that a bit of a blow. Get rid of the Now the bit with the boring head is at is at the finished uh, size right now, so we need to re retract that back and also set the stop so that we um, <coughs> we stop at the aluminium sacrificial uh, point here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, never to forget that this must be the lock must be unlocked. Um, and we'll screw it back. Set that up, set the zero on zero, little fella on zero, and um, at least that will just come out a bit more. And we'll get that first cut um, down to the point where we can set our lock. big job that I need to uh, set the auto feed, I could do, but uh, this looks fine. We cut through this very easily. First lot's done, we're at an auto stop is where I want it to be. Um, I'll now take it out uh, four turns. We'll just turn that around so you can see what we're doing. Um, take a quick measurement, see what that diameter is. That's 105. It's 105. Um, so what we'll do, we'll take this out. Uh, this is um, two tenths, one turn. So we'll take it five turns, which means a millimetre. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Lock that up. That should now. Take it out another millimetre, lock her in. 
on a trial run. Pushing a bit hard there, I'll we'll go back down again. So we can see what that is. I'll just cut a bit of that stuff off. Sometimes you get that, it gets all, all fiddly and funny on you. This is how it was running beautifully. Ah, right. we're not perfect all the time. We're part-time perfectionists. Don't have to be a full-time perfectionist in, in this life, at any rate. One hundred five seventy-seven. Right, we'll go out. We we'll got another one, two turns. Put that in. could be taking four or five millimetre cuts at a time. Uh, this is not hard material at all. But um, I just prefer to err on the side of uh, not overdoing it. And it's only in a couple of minutes and it'll all be over. Six twenty four. Six twenty four. We're going now. One, two, three, four, five more turns. Let's take another mill.
as I said in one of my previous uh, movies, I like to hold onto the quill handle uh, just in case, uh, just, uh, to stop it from flying back and bashing inside here. We don't need that damage. Um, totally unnecessary. Right, we're going to go now. One, two, three, four, five more. Another check there. 107. It's only cut these two holes and it's already taken the shine off the high speed and uh, cutting not as clean as it was before. So okay, the next cut will clean it up. Come back around here. Another, we know we can go another one anyway. Definitely lost its shine. Definitely lost the shine. I'm going to have to sharpen that, right? So I'll sharpen that up, and uh, we'll finish the job off, and then we've got a trim, and then we'll set it up for doing the final trim on it. Thank you very much.